Hello everybody. Today I'll be preparing brinjal biryani. This is an amazing recipe. You can prepare this in no time. I'm actually redoing this recipe. I had uh, prepared this recipe in 2010 uh, due to copyright issues and um, the video quality not being so good. I had to put it on private mode but I'm redoing the recipe now again. First of all what I've done is in a pressure cooker I've gone ahead and added uh, some oil and uh, clarified butter which is ghee. And I'm just going to uh, fry some spices in it, whole spices like bay leaf, cinnamon, clove and uh, cardamom. Once the spices splutter, I'm just going to go ahead and add uh, one onion which is chopped. And I'm just going to fry the onions till it turns light pink in color. Now the recipe in detail is posted on my blog and the blog link will be posted in the info bar below this video. Now once the onions turn light pink in color, I'm just going to go ahead and add some masala paste to this. I'm just going to add two tablespoons of the masala paste. The recipe for masala paste is also on my blog. Uh, this masala paste contains just ginger, garlic, whole spices and some chilies with some fennel seeds. I've just uh, dry roasted the masala, spice, uh, masala and a little bit of oil and I've ground it into a paste. Now I've just added the masala paste and I've fried it a little bit and uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and add um, the halved um, brinjal into it and a fistful of mint and coriander. I'm also going to go ahead and add about a quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder and just give this a good toss and fry it. Now what you need to do prior is you need to wash the rice which you're going to use. You can use a short grain rice, you can use uh, jasmine rice, you can use basmati rice, it's up to you. So I've gone ahead and used a uh, short grain rice. We call it as jeera rice. It's similar to the jasmine rice. And uh, I've already gone ahead and washed it thrice and I've soaked it in some water for 10 minutes. Now once uh, I finish frying the brinjal, I'm just going to transfer the rice into it. Because you do not want to overcook the brinjal. Now once it finishes frying just a bit, you just need to add the rice right away. And you need to add the water measure. Now the liquid content, what I'm going to add is uh, for one cup of rice, I'm going to add one and a half cup cups of uh, liquid content. Now I've already had uh, some vegetable stock uh, in reserve. I've gone ahead and added uh, one and a half cups of vegetable stock and one and a half cups of uh, coconut milk. You need not add these two. You can add regular water or you can add um, uh, instead of coconut milk, you can add uh, cow's milk. It's up to you. But make sure you add either coconut milk or regular cow's milk. At that point, you will get a very good taste in your biryani or pulao. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and add the liquid measure that I'm just going to measure uh, the coconut milk, one and a half cups of that. I'm just going to add that and uh, give this a good stir and get it to a boil. You also need to add salt as per taste. Once this starts to boil, I'm just going to squeeze in about half a lime juice. Uh, the lime juice will make sure the rice is separated and it cooks nice. So once I finish adding the lime juice to this, I'm just going to get this to a boil, place a cover and once the steam starts to build, I'm going to place the whistle and cook this for three whistles. This recipe is so simple, it's a one pot recipe and uh, you can serve this for any kitty parties or you can take it for lunch to your office or for school. Even if this goes a little bit cold, it tastes absolutely good. I'm sorry about my voice. I do have a very bad cold today. Now once the brinjal pulao has cooked thoroughly, I'm just going to give this a good mix and serve this with some yogurt raita or you can serve this with papad. I've just gone ahead and served it with some cu cucumber and some cucumber raita. And uh, do try this recipe and post your comments friends. I'll see you soon with the next recipe. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.